<laughs> All right, man. Thanks for watching. And if you're just joining us, thank you for staying tuned. This is Breakfast Central. Now we have Trend Wave with Elizabeth Musa, who will be giving us the latest when it comes to stories that are making the wave. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good What's morning, the latest? Good morning, Olisa. Morning. Great. So let me start my trend with today in Ghana, where the popular journalist Nana Abba, who is the acting general manager of GH1 TV in Ghana, posted a video of a blogger whose name is Albert, who had come to the stations for the next TV star. According to her, this same guy had been trolling herself and some of her colleagues. So let's watch this video. You write, you write facts. facts. When you... You write this. <laughs> hey, Sewa, we know what you've been up to in this country. What do you know? Where did you pick that from? Page. That is your Twitter page. Okay. That <laughs> Twitter is our agenda. What's this agenda? You know, so in other words, it's about <laughs> and saying <laughs> that 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 is meant to tarnish someone else's image. Okay. What's this factual about what you've written about Sewa? I mean, Twitter is a different word, you know. How? Twitter? <laughs> Get that right. You can't even spell am I. You can't even spell it. Yet, you think you can sit behind a phone and write crap on Twitter about people. Simple and am I. You can't spell it. But that's not the point. You question people's relevance. Mm -hmm. How relevant do you think you, you are? are? <laughs> because I've seen tweet of you. Tweet of you. Rubbishing Lydia Forson too. I need to get um, the the source of. I mean, it's your phone. Your phone is in your pocket. Your phone is in your pocket. You said you do it fast. Yes. You know, Mimi Rose just on October 10th that uh, the 4.5k. You have watched that video. So apparently, the guy in question had been sending out troll messages and false remarks remarks about herself and her fellow colleagues. So you could see that video immediately the guy mounted that stage they were all full of attacks for him it's like they had him all planned out and this video has been making the rounds ever since nana Aba posted it and um, people are you know some people are saying wow it's like they just had it all they had him they were ready for him this on that day some people are saying that wow that maybe that wasn't quite professional but i'm going to ask you a question olisa oluchi if you meet your troll or the person who probably has been bullying you or sending not so nice remarks about you on social media, what are you going to do? Are you going to overlook it and take it that, you know, Twitter is Twitter, Instagram is Instagram, real life is different. Is that how you're I, going to I'm take it? I'm surprised, uh, Sewa, that uh, Nana, they all they recognized uh, the, the person when he came for the reality. I think that reality TV show yeah. uh, yeah, for the auditions. Tough. Okay, I'm surprised that they, uh, perhaps they really took their time to know who he is and knew that he was doing because I'm shocked, you know, that was basically uh, because he came for one thing, which was the audition, and the audition, basically yeah. got another, which was recrimination for perhaps his past. Okay, so you've not answered the question. <laughs> okay, but you know, you know, let me just let me clarify that it. for you, Olisa. First of all, I don't think I have trolls on social media, and I don't want Olisa any. Olisa is giving political <laughs> answers, but, but Lizzie, for me, I would act professional. Let's get the job done. After the job, we can now go to a side and sort that out. Wait, 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 wait. Let's be professional what, first. Wait, 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 how do you get professional? But how do you know that this is the truth? So now you that's know? the thing. The that guy you, came, you, apparently you, the guy was, you know, set, um, taking out, taking down some tweets at the audition center. He was using his phone, you know, he took out his phone and then he was taking out some, um, taking down tweets. So people noticed that action and actually noticed that this is the guy who has been sending out false remarks about these people. I wouldn't say false remarks, but probably things that were not so pleasing. And they were the ones that, will I say, they went ahead to snitch on the guy and they had taken screenshots of these tweets before the guy pulled them down. Do you get? So they took down screenshots while they noticed that the guy was taken down too and reported this situation. So that's why they had everything down mm. while the guy came on. on tro and throws on social media. No, Let's just go to show that we need, trouble. <laughs> we need to be careful whatever we post about people on yes, social media because it affects the, person, the personality of that individual you're, you're talking to. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is what's up next on the trend wave. Right, so we're still um, on this issue of you just knowing where to mind your business, draw the line. You know, when they say respect is end, it's the fact. So this video has been making the rounds for quite um, some days now, and you're going to check it out now. So this lady 
in question sees a young teenager having a conversation with a friend and decides to barge into the conversation. But this young lady wasn't taking it. This teenager wasn't taking it. Apparently, she's 50 year old. She did not give her any respect. I'll let you watch this video and hear your thoughts. When they say drink water, mind your business, that's exactly what we have seen in this video. Apparently, the woman budged into the conversation this girl was having. I don't quite know the conversation they were having. And the girl didn't give the woman what she was expecting. She went as far as even calling the woman a fool, which led to the woman slapping her right there. And you know, here in Nigeria, I don't know about other parts of Africa, it's a thing when people think, oh, I'm, I'm older than you, then automatically, I demand respect from you. But that girl says, you are not my mom. I can't give you respect. She might actually be wrong to say that. I mean, everybody deserves respect, but I don't know. First of all, you don't budge into a conversation people are having, even if you think what they're saying is not correct. So that's, that's the situation right now. I'll let us take out some of the comments before I hear your reactions, Oluchi and Olisa, on this one. So that's one from Bailey's. Bailey says, this is actually my little sister. She was minding her business in the chicken and chick chip shop, and this auntie decided to get involved with her and her friend's conversation and proceeded to slap her. Warn your parents, this isn't Africa. You don't go around slapping people's children. And then she went on to say that this matter has also been taken to the police and that she would then they're taking this thing up he says want your parents not to move like oh wow that's and says this isn't africa keep your hands to yourself let's take a look at more reactions people are making about this particular trend on social media now that's one from francisca ultimate she says i wonder if there will be any moral that this generation will even teach their children that so that's another angle from francisca obviously francisca thinks wow now that's one from Ray Reddington. Reddington says, I, although I feel auntie was in the wrong for how she handled it, little sis shouldn't have, should have kept it moving and not engaged her on that level. The auntie narrative is, um, there, is there for a reason. Although it was absurd here, culturally, you can't just dismiss the word of elders. That's another angle. And also Tito, um, that's one from Efemena. Efemena says, what goes around comes back around you. Being an elderly, you'll be an elderly person someday. Yes, the woman was a little bit too much, but nothing, absolute, absolutely nothing makes it justifiable to insult an elderly woman in that manner, especially calling her a fool and repeating it. Two wrongs can never make a right. So that's what is trending wow. at the moment. That particular video has packed up so much conversation on different platforms, from WhatsApp to Facebook to Meta, Different places, people are saying lots of things, but I want to hear your reactions, Olisa Oluchi. <laughs> well, I think this, I'll just take your cue, Lizzie, and drink water and mind my business. <laughs> on this well, one. rightly, just as you said, Elizabeth, two wrongs do not make a right. Now, also, to that story, people said the woman could not stand the way they were chit chatting, it was pretty loud and it was affecting her and she decided that was what made her to get involved in the conversation. But whatever it is, you've just you said it's two wrongs. Don't slap do not make a right. child. Uh, hmm. uh, assault, that's what it turns to. Well, thank yes. you so much, Liz, uh, for the latest when it comes to trend waves. Really dramatic uh, this morning. <laughs> <laughs>